everyone! In this video, I want to show you how you can add incredibly detailed 3D assets to your Unreal Engine projects absolutely free so that you can take your movie projects from this to this. First off, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Just a reminder that this is part four of my tutorial series on how to create cinematic movies using Unreal Engine 5. If you've missed any of the previous parts, I'm going to drop you the links to the full tutorial series down below the video, so go and check that out. Now, there's tons of different ways to get free assets and import them into Unreal Engine. The two that we're going to cover here is Quixel Bridge, which comes with the Unreal Engine 5 editor, as well as using the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Quixel Bridge and the Unreal Engine Marketplace are completely free tools to greatly enhance your 3D environments and movies. A completely free way to enhance your brain and improve your problem solving skills, but also your understanding of math, data and computer science in a fun and interactive way is with Brilliant, who are also kindly sponsoring today's video. Brilliant is a fantastic platform that offers a ton of engaging courses all broken down into structured lessons that you can watch in five minute bites or just binge your way through no matter how busy your life is. They have courses on algebra, mathematical thinking, computer science and programming, AI, neural networks, how everyday technology or LLMs, large language models such as ChatGPT work and there's new courses being added every month. I've personally really been enjoying their courses on logic problems. I really like solving logical problems. It's kind of part of my day job and I really enjoy all of the different types of problems that Brilliant throws my way. Plus, I actually really enjoy the feeling of achievement that I get from solving another puzzle. Brilliant is the best way to improve your understanding of math, data and computer science and as you progress through these courses, Brilliant automatically adjusts the content to fit your personal skill level so it feels like you're always learning at just the right pace. If this sounds exciting to you and you would like to join me on this interactive journey from preventing my brain from going to mush, you can head over to brilliant.org forward slash surfaced studio or simply click on the link down in the video description and you'll be able to get completely free access to the 30 day trial so you can try all of the courses and the way Brilliant works out for yourself. And the first 200 subscribers to Brilliant that go through that link will get 20% off the annual subscription. So thank you very much Brilliant for sponsoring this video. This is the current setup for our movie sequence. And while it covers all of the basics, it's just really boring. There's nothing really to look at. It's not interesting at all. So let's add some environments and 3D assets into the scene to make the actual movie sequence a little bit more exciting to watch. First off, before you add any 3D assets into your scene, be sure to exit out of your sequencer if you want to modify your environment. First off, let's talk about how to add free assets using Quixel Bridge within the Unreal Engine 5 editor. You can access Quixel Bridge by going to Window and then selecting Quixel Bridge. This will open a separate window and you may get asked to sign in with your Epic Games account if you aren't already. And in here you can browse through a ton of 3D assets, surfaces, materials and other assets that you can use in your Unreal Engine 5 scene. Quixel Bridge gives you access to Megascans, which is a library of 3D scanned environments and assets, as well as Meta Humans, which are highly realistic character models. But for now, let's stay with something a little bit more natural and fitting our scene. So I'm simply going to come up to the very top and search for landscape within Quixel Bridge. I'm going to jump into the 3D asset category, nature, and rocks. And let's come down a little bit. And how about this gigantic sandstone terrain? Let's select this asset. This will open up the asset in the browser. And then down at the bottom, you can determine which quality you want this asset to download in. From low quality all the way through to Nanite, which is a technology that gives you almost photorealistic 3D assets within your 3D scene rendered in real time, which look absolutely fantastic. Just be aware that obviously the higher the quality, the bigger the model, the slower rendering times get as well. Now it's asking me to hit sign in again, even though I'm already signed in. Let's just click that. Yep, there you go. This is the buttons I was expecting. Now there's a download button. So let's press download to download this asset onto your local computer. Once that's done, simply hit add to add this asset to your currently open project. This will open the content browser, which is kind of like the content drawer, just in a floating variant. And in your folder structure, under Content Megascans 3D Assets, you can now find gigantic sandstone terrain. And in here, you'll find all of the materials, the textures, as well as the actual static mesh for that asset. Now, let me close this window and minimize Quixel Bridge and bring up the content drawer. And in here, let's go to Content Megascans 3D Assets, gigantic sandstone environment. And now let's drag this into our 3D scene and drop it in. Let's reposition it a little bit. And I'm also going to delete that boring reflective plane surface that we had there before. And then just yes, adjust the size and scaling and position this in our scene wherever you want to. And that looks a ton better already. And from here, it really is just rinse and repeat. Simply come back into Quixel Bridge, find 
the asset that you want to add, download it, add it to your project, and then you can drag it either from your content drawer or directly from the content browser into your 3D scene, adjust it, scale it, move it around, position it anywhere that you want. You can also duplicate the assets, rotate them around and place copies of them all over the place to extend your landscapes or your mountain ranges. And then I'm going to repeat this again and look for maybe a tree down in here. How about this broken stump? Same thing download, add, and then to drop that into the scene, position it where you want. Once you're done modifying your environment, you can jump back into your level sequence. And now if you look through the camera, this looks a whole lot more cinematic, a lot nicer, just because we've added some interesting assets and environments to look at into our 3D scene to just make this not so plain and boring and vanilla. Now let's talk about the second way to get free assets and add them to your Unreal project. For that, we're going to jump into the Unreal Engine Marketplace, which you can access via your browser. So simply jump to this link. I'm going to drop you that in the video description down below as well. And in here, under the free category, you'll find a bunch of different collections. For example, Epic Games content is a lot of assets for actually creating video games, a lot of interactive stuff, blueprints, now, I'd love to add some nice trees into my 3D environment. For that, I'm going to jump into free and mega scans. And while Quixel Bridge gives you access to the mega scans library, I think some of these assets aren't actually in there. I found some really nice trees on the Unreal Engine Marketplace that I couldn't find in Quixel Bridge. This one looks really pretty Norway maple in early access. It's free. Again, I just need to sign in to download. And then let's hit that free button. And the asset has been added to my account. Now, just be sure that on any asset that you download from the Unreal Engine Marketplace, you do check the license details of where and how you can use this product. This one, for example, I can only use for Unreal Engine based products. I couldn't use it legally, for example, with a different engine and then ship that as a product. So just be aware of that. Now, in order to add any asset that you downloaded through the marketplace into your Unreal Engine project, simply come into the Epic Games launcher and under the Unreal Engine in the, the library tab, underneath all of your recent projects, you'll actually find a full list of all of the assets that you've purchased through the Unreal Engine marketplace. Now, I'm noticing that I can't see the Norway maple in here just yet. So let's come back to the marketplace itself and click on this open in launcher button here and see if that gets added. And yep, there it is. I can see it down here. Thumbnail hasn't loaded yet, but let's simply click Add to Project and let's select the Learning Unreal Project to add it to. And then this pack is going to get downloaded and that might take a while depending on the size. And once that's done, back in Unreal Engine, again, remember to exit your sequencer if you want to modify your environment. And now in my content, I have this Norway Maple folder, which contains all of the pieces that make up this asset pack under geometry, under simple wind. I've got a whole bunch of these trees animated for a simple wind scenario, and I can just drag and drop them into my environment, scale them up, move them around. Same thing as with the assets that you get from Quixel Bridge. And that looks so much better already than where we started 10 minutes ago. Again, here, I encourage you to completely go rogue, download a whole bunch of free models, modify your scene, create something really interesting and share it. I'm really keen to see what you guys can create. And just a final note, in case you're wondering where some of the movies and images from the start of this series come from, they actually come from a pack on the Unreal Engine Marketplace called Cyberpunk High City. Now, unfortunately, it's not free. It's about $37, but it looks absolutely amazing. It's this 3D floating cyberpunk city with animated cars and everything. Now, I modified it a little bit, added some smoke and fog and a couple of other elements into it to you know, customize it to the needs of the video I was creating at the time. I'm not a 3D artist, so I heavily rely on just getting assets online, whether they're free, which you can get tons of for your movie projects, or you, know, you can obviously pay for some of the more premium stuff if you're into that. But hopefully this was helpful getting you started and getting your movie from super plain and boring to something that actually looks quality, nice, and cinematic. And that's all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and I greatly appreciate it. And with that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.